All right, let's get straight into it. We're not talking about some fleeting meme stock or the latest AI hype. No, we're talking about a fundamental, physical commodity that just went on an absolute tear. And the reason why is what's so incredible. It wasn't driven by speculation or hype. It was driven by a massive, unstoppable wave of real-world, totally irreplaceable industrial demand. Just look at these numbers. Silver absolutely ripped from 29 to 53 in a single year. Now, this isn't just a minor market fluctuation. This is a seismic shift, a fundamental repricing of one of the world's most critical metals. So the real question is, what on earth could cause a move this dramatic this fast? Let's just put that in perspective for a second. That's an 83% gain. A move like that, well, it screams that something profound has changed in the supply and demand balance. This is the kind of signal the market sends when it's waking up to a brand new reality. And it all boils down to one core driver. And here it is. 680.5 million ounces. That, that is the engine that was behind this entire price explosion. And you have to understand, this isn't investment demand that people can just swap for something else. This is physical silver being consumed, literally used up by industries that simply cannot function without it. And we're about to count down the exact industrial uses that created this demand tsunami. So let's get right to it. We're going to do a rapid fire countdown of the top 20 industrial uses for silver. We're starting from the bottom, number 20, and we're going to work our way all the way up to the absolute monster at number one. You're going to want to pay close attention to how these ounces stack up. Kicking off our countdown way down at number 20, we've got 5G telecom antennas. They consume about 2 million ounces of silver every year. Right on its heels at number 19 is aerospace brazing. Now that's the super high strength solder that literally holds critical parts like jet engines together. That's another 2 million ounces. At 18, the joints in your refrigerator and your air conditioner use up 2.5 million ounces. Then at 17 and 16, we jump into the fun stuff, consumer tech. Your Apple Watches, your fitness bands, Playstations, and even the powerful AI servers that are powering our digital world, they all need silver to the tune of a combined 6 million ounces. And rounding out this first block at number 15, those heated windshields in modern cars use another 4 million ounces. You see, individually, they might seem small, but you can already see how all these essential uses start to add up fast. Okay, moving up the list and the numbers, they're starting to get bigger. At number 14, we have water purifiers. They use silver for its natural antimicrobial properties, and that consumes 6 million ounces. Then at 13, pretty much every single LED bulb that's lighting our homes and our offices requires silver, adding another 7 million ounces to the total. Now, number 12 is fascinating. The incredibly reflective mirrors inside advanced telescopes, like the James Webb, and in those massive concentrated solar power plants, they demand 8 million ounces. Now we're cracking the top 10, and the uses, they get even more critical. At number 11, nano silver in advanced hospital wound dressings, which helps prevent infection, uses 12 million ounces. And surprisingly, at number 10, even old school x ray film is still a major consumer at 15 million ounces. And finally, at number 9, think about modern logistics. All those tiny RFID tags used to track billions of packages for companies like Amazon, they consume a whopping 20 million ounces of silver every single year. Okay, now we are getting to the real heavyweights. At number 8, the absolute backbone of all modern electronics, we're talking semiconductors and printed circuit boards. They require a substantial 25 million ounces. At number 7, high power density batteries, like silver oxide and silver zinc use another 30 million. Number six is a huge category. If you combine all other industrial brazing and soldering applications, that totals a massive 51.6 million ounces. But now we enter the world of giant chemical production. At number five, catalysts used to produce formaldehyde, which is essential for things like plywood and resins, consume 45 million ounces. Even bigger at number four, Ethylene oxide catalysts, which are needed for plastics and antifreeze, take 55 million ounces. And that brings us to number three, automotive electrification. Every sensor, every single switch, every electrical connection in modern electric vehicles needs silver. This category alone is 65 million ounces. And get this, it's growing at an incredible 20% per year. We've just covered some absolutely massive industrial uses, and the numbers are already staggering. 
but believe it or not, they all pale in comparison to the number one driver. We're talking about the absolute monster that is almost single-handedly responsible for this market's explosive move. So it all comes down to this. What one application is so massive, so voracious in its consumption of silver, that it can literally create a global deficit and drive the price up by 83% all on its own. And there it is, photovoltaic solar panels, the entire green energy revolution. It runs on a silver paste. It is the single largest driver of silver demand on planet Earth, and it's not even close. You know, the sheer scale of this is really hard to wrap your head around. Almost one out of every three ounces of industrial silver consumed in 2024 went directly into a solar panel. Let that sink in. That means this one single application consumes nearly half as much silver as all of the other 19 top uses combined. It's just incredible. 197.6 million ounces. That is the colossal figure for 2024. To give you some context, China alone installed 278 gigawatts of solar capacity that year. That's like adding a new nuclear reactor's worth of power every single day. And every single watt of it required silver that cannot be substituted. This is the green tsunami we're talking about. So we've just seen the demand side of the equation. And it's explosive. It's historic. But that's only half the story. What happens when that kind of demand collides head-on with the reality of supply? Well, this is where the story gets even more dramatic. Let's just look at the hard numbers for 2024. The world demanded 1.16 billion ounces of silver. But the world's mines, they could only produce 824 million ounces. The math here is brutally simple, and the result is absolutely unavoidable. A deficit of 336 million ounces. This isn't just a small gap, okay? This is one of the largest structural deficits in recorded history. The world is consuming far, far more silver than it can possibly dig out of the ground, and this creates an enormous, enormous problem. And you have to understand, this isn't a one-time event. This isn't a fluke. The forecast for 2025 shows another massive hole of 150 to 180 million ounces. And the crucial point here, the part that everyone needs to hear, is that the above-ground stockpiles that have been used to fill these gaps for years, they are now effectively gone. The cookie jar is empty. There is no strategic reserve left to raid. So it's such a clear and frankly alarming supply and demand imbalance. You have to ask yourself, who is acting on this information? And what are the common misconceptions that are keeping everybody else on the sidelines? Let's take a look. While while many people were focused elsewhere, the big institutions were making their move. In 2025 alone, firms like BlackRock, JP Morgan, and Citi have taken delivery of over 300 million ounces of physical silver. To put that number into perspective, that is more silver than Peru, the world's second largest mining nation, produced in an entire year. They're not playing with paper. They are securing physical supply. Now, let's address a really common misconception. You hear this all the time. There's this persistent belief that military applications, you know, missiles, torpedoes, advanced guidance systems, are a huge driver of silver demand. And while those things certainly need silver and can't be made without it, let's look at the actual data. This chart really puts it all into perspective, doesn't it? The combined demand from just solar panels and electric vehicles is over 262 million ounces per year and total global military use, it's around two and a half million ounces. That means the green tech demand is more than 100 times larger. The real war for silver isn't being fought in military silos. It's being fought in solar farms and EV gigafactories. So we've seen the countdown, we've seen the historic deficit, and we've debunked a major myth. What does all this mean for the future? Where do we go from here now that the fundamentals have been laid bare for everyone to see? Well, the major banks are finally starting to wake up to this new reality. Bank of America has a public price target of $65 per ounce. But honestly, given the sheer scale of a structural deficit that just isn't going away, many analysts believe that is a deeply conservative estimate. Projections that are based on historical deficit-driven rallies suggest potential moves well past 100, maybe to 200, or even higher once the broader market fully prices in this new reality. And that really is the bottom line. You can keep listening to the financial news called as volatility, or you can look at the cold, hard facts. 
We are talking about the one industrial metal with no viable substitutes for its most important applications, facing what looks to be endless structural deficits, all of it powered by this unstoppable green technology tsunami. It's your money, it's your move. So let's just end on this one simple equation. The cause, a single application, solar power, consuming nearly a third of all industrial silver on the planet. And the effect, a supply deficit so large it drove the price up by 83%. The connection, it really couldn't be any clearer. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe for more fascinating videos from Comics Visigoths. Have a great day and keep stacking.